Thank you. You may be seated. Dear Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, good afternoon. Oh, wow, there is nobody in the room. I'm going to try that one more time. Ama nijaribu kwa Kiswahili? Nijaribu tena? Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Bonjour tous. Bonjour. Thank you so much. My name is Larry Mido. I'm an international correspondent at CNN. I'm a Kenyan, a proud African. I'm so glad to be here with all of you, guiding you through this afternoon. The Presidential Summit of the Africa Food Systems Forum 2023. The big question is how we as Africa can feed ourselves, and we're so honored to have in our midst our leaders. You'll be hearing from them about what they're doing in their respective countries. We'll be sharing some high-level dialogues, and they're here early to listen to you as well, to hear your perspectives, so that this can be a two-way dialogue. I'm excited to get that kick-started right away because we have a busy, packed afternoon hearing from some of the best practices from across the continent and across the world. I'm excited that we're here in Dar es Salaam, one of Africa's greatest cities. There are no Tanzanians in the room? There are no East Africans in the room? I am, s hang on, wait, 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 Ngoja Tafadali. I am so excited that we are here in Dar es Salaam, one of Africa's greatest cities. Such a great audience, completely unprompted, just spontaneous. I love it. It is now my pleasure to, to, give, to kick things off by inviting to the stage for their opening remarks, Dr. Agnes Kalibata, President of Agra, and His Excellency, Haile Mariam de Salem, former Prime Minister of Ethiopia and the Chair of the AGRF Partners Group for their remarks. Please give Dr. Kalibata a big round as she comes up on the stage. His Excellency Helen Mariam de Salem said, this is the best AGRF since they started doing it. Doesn't that deserve a big round of applause? Asanteni sana, Hungera sana, Tanzania. And now it is my pleasure to kick things off by inviting the Minister for Agriculture in the Republic of Tanzania, Honorable Hussein Mohamed Bashe, to officially welcome us. Your Excellency, the President of United Republic of Tanzania, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, Your Excellency, the President of Republic of Kenya, Dr. Ruto, Your Excellency, the President of Republic of Senegal. Inspiring talking about what Tanzania is doing to transform the food systems here, and she talked about the commitments, international commitments, like the Malabo Declaration, and other initiatives that the country is doing here. President Samir Suluhu Hassan said, we should not be complaining as Africans. We have vast water and mineral resources here. 60% of our population are the youth. We have everything we need here to transform our food systems. Do you agree? I didn't hear the right applause for that. I think... And one of the things that Her Excellency talked about, like in the last two financial years, her government has quadrupled their agricultural budgetary vote. So from what it was four years ago, two years ago, it was about $100 million. In the last financial year, it was $400 million, quadrupled the budget going to agriculture in Tanzania. And she also acknowledged the contribution of the youth who were meeting here this morning and what they want to transform the food systems in the continent. And she said that Tanzania is ready to work with stakeholders and other investors to transform the food systems here in the country. As Africans, we love music. We are a musical people. And it is now my pleasure to introduce Angel to entertain us. Angel Tafadali. Please give a big round of applause 
to Angel. Another round of applause for her, please. Thank you. She said we cannot wallow in crisis, and she talked about some of the crisis we're facing. It's now my pleasure to introduce the first of two panels we'll have this afternoon, Quick Conversations, and she already set the stage for us with the quantum leap for food security. That's going to be our first conversation. I have three speakers coming up here to chat real quick. Uh, Ms. Melinda Bohanan is the Director General of the Humanitarian and Development of Humanitarian and Development at for the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office of the UK. Please join me on stage, uh, Melinda. Also, please give a big round of applause. She came a long way to talk to us. Also joining her on stage is Mr. Roger Vorheis. He's the president, Global Growth and Opportunity Division at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and a member of the AGRA board. And last but not least, Mr. Svein Tor Holzeta, President and CEO of Yara International. I'm going to need to hear a bit more excitement from the room. We have a few more coming up. It's going to be short and sweet, I promise. Very important, so please stay with me. The theme is recover, regenerate, and act. And I think Miss um, Bekele Thomas talked about one of those issues we keep talking about the Ukraine war and how that's affected Africa's food systems, the grain that would depend on from Ukraine, so I'm sure they will be talking about that, as well as highlighting practical solutions and the role of sustainable farming practices on the continent. And finally, on the subject of ACT, they will be outlining actionable strategies for mobilizing investments and required policy and financial reforms, both from the public and the private sectors. The only lady in the group gets to go first. Melinda, please go ahead. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, it is an absolute honor to be part of this panel um, representing, thank you, His Majesty's Government and the United Kingdom's partnership with Tanzania. I want to start by recognizing the commitment that we have all